Hey, Scott Austin here, and it's the end of 2023, and if you're like me, you recently got an email from Shopify saying, hey, add a DMARC record to continue sending emails from your domain. So if you're inside of Shopify and you're admin and you're sending emails from your own domain, let me show you what that looks like. So if you go into your uh, settings down here in the lower left, and go under notifications right here. You'll see that I've set it up so that my sender email is from my own domain, jadepuma.com. And I already uh, did the domain authentication, which is called DKIM, uh, inside of Shopify. I've done that before. So if you're sending out emails from Shopify from your own domain and not from Shopify's email domain, you're going to want to do this DMARC setting inside of your DNS. Now, if you check out the email, it links to a Shopify article, which links to a Google article and some tools. It gets kind of confusing and a little bit technical. So what I want to show you here is the minimum setting that you can set up to get this DMARC requirement met for your domain for your Shopify business. All right, so the first thing you can do if you go into the uh, Shopify link in the email, it'll show you a tool. Where is it? Yeah, check if you have a valid DMARC record. All right, it'll open up this tool that I already had open in another window. And I'm going to go down. I'm just going to put in another domain I'm working on right now, which is uh, yoyowizard.com. To inspect the domain, it says no DMARC record published. So if you have this issue... And most of us will have this because no one has set up DMARCs. If you've done it before, you're, you're not watching this video because you're way ahead of everybody else. So if you need to set up your DMARC, you want to log into your domain registrar or your DNS server, which is usually your domain registrar. Right? So for this YoYo Wizard domain, I've registered that through GoDaddy, and GoDaddy is my DNS service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my DNS records, for yoyowizard.com, and I'm going to add a new record. All right? That record is going to be a TXT. Now, how you do this is going to depend depending on your DNS service. Right? Most of them are fairly similar, but they work a little bit differently. Each one's got a little bit of a nuance behind them. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in an underscore and then DMARC. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the value of that is V equals DMARC1, semicolon space, P equals none. Now, you can look up the references from Google and all that stuff to see what each of these values means if you want to understand more about how this works. I'm just trying to show you the minimum to do to get this uh, working and have you compliant with the upcoming changes in February 1st of 2024 with Google and Yahoo email. And then we're going to set the uh, RUA to be mail to, so this is just a hyperlink to an email, and I'm going to have it be support at yoyowizard.com. You'll notice that this email domain is the same domain as my yoyowizard. Um, and then that should meet our needs there. So let's save on that. And so that's successfully published. Now, it can take some time for your DNS records to propagate out onto the internet. So if you immediately go back and check out the inspector, it may or may not work for you. Or it may, you know, find the new domain, it may not. Oh, it already found it, that's nice. So I entered that DNS record, into my domain, which my DNS service, which is GoDaddy for this domain. And you can see I instantly got, hooray, your DMARC record is valid. So when you get that notification from Shopify, they're probably gonna send out a couple more before February 1st. It's that simple to fix it. You'd be comfortable logging into your domain registrar, adding a new entry for your DNS record, a TXT, um, under the format that I just showed you. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.